Early Access provided by EA Fire Monkeys, presented by EA Game Changers. A brand new live event has arrived in Simtown. The Cafe Grand live event is available for 10 days. If you complete it in the time limit, you will unlock the Cafe House template. Make some arts and craft items. Place your candle station or go to the house where your candle station is located. Click on it and select the option to make 50 candles. This time it will take 23 seconds. Once your sim has finished making the candles, above all the candle will appear above their head. Click on this and it will take you to the prize progress tab in the corner of your screen. Here you'll see all the prizes that you have to unlock. As this is the early access version, I have unlocked everything already so I can show you all the prizes straight away. But at this stage you will have unlocked the warehouse floor. We're not going to buy it right now though, we're going to click on the green back button to go back and complete the task. Restock a crafting station. Click on the crafting station again and this time you will need to restock it. You can either restock 18 uses, this is instant but it will cost you 10 social points. Or you can restock 2 uses, this will take 10 seconds but it is free. After this you can restock for 9 uses and this will take 2 hours and 30 minutes but it's still free. Buy the warehouse floor pack. Head back to the event button in the corner of your screen. Scroll down and click purchase. This will cost you 50 candles. Arts and craft items are like currency, so once you've spent those 50 candles, you'll need to make more to be able to purchase more of the price packs. Use a coin flower patch. Head to the event tab in the home store to buy your free flower patch. Place it in your sims garden and then you can click on it to get the option to spin. I'm going to show you in the house section first, we're going to go to the floors tab and we're going to take a look at the warehouse floor that we've just unlocked. Now we can click on the spin plant, there's two options on the spin plant, the first one is free, after this it will cost you 450 candles to spin. There is also the mega spin plant, this one costs 25 social points to spin but you will earn more constructor coins if you use the mega spin plant. Check the daily goals. Head back to the event button in the corner of your screen and this time we're going to click on the first tab which is the daily goals. If you complete all the daily goals in 24 hours you will earn 20 extra constructor coins. Collect bonuses. To do this you need to select one of the options on the candle station. There are four options, pick the one that's best for you. If you can do the two and a half hour option over and over again throughout the day, that is the best option as you will earn the most candles that way. But if you're going to be out for long periods, then pick a longer option. Once the candle appears above our sim's head, that is the bonus. So we've got to wait for that. While we're waiting, we're going to take a look at some of the prizes available in this live event. I will be unlocking all of the prizes once we've completed these goals. But firstly, we're going to check out the grand prize, which is the cafe. So we're going to take a quick look at that. For a more detailed tour of the cafe, including how it looks on a premium residence, check out my cafe grand tour video. That bonus is probably ready now, so let's head back, and there it is, the bonus is above our sim said, click on it to complete the task. Continue collecting items. So this is the last goal, but the event is not over. We need to keep collecting the arts and craft items to be able to unlock all of the prizes on the bar at the top of the screen. 
Once we have unlocked those, we can then use our arts and craft items to purchase all of the prizes. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to show you all of the prizes and where you can find them in the store once you have unlocked them. So first up is the Vintage Walls Pack. And these can be found in the decoration section and the wall section. So let's take a look at the decoration section first. We can find those really nice retro signs there. And then in the wall section, we've got the exposed brick. Also, I really love that one. Next is the reuse and recycle pack. So we've got some nice items here too. Let's purchase that. These can be found in the decorations and living room sections. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at the living room section first. So you can find the crate tables in there. And in the decoration section, we can find the bottled sprigs. So they're really nice, like flowery decorations. I love those. Next, we've got wood panelled counters. So there's four of these in two different colours. Let's purchase this. These can be found in the countertop section. So in here we have walnut and pine cafe counters and the corner versions. Next pack is for the record. So we've got some nice like planter things and some really cool vinyl records. Let's purchase this one too. It says there these can be found in the outdoor decoration section and the trees, plants and flowers section. They could also be found in the decoration section. In the decoration section you've got the vinyl displays. I think they're really cool. You can only admire them though, you can't really do anything with them, which is a shame. In the outdoor decoration section you've got all four of the items. Let's take a look at trees, plants and flowers first. That's where you can find the plant boxes. But yeah, all four of those items available in this pack are in the outdoor decoration section. So there you can see the plant boxes and there you can see the vinyl display. The next pack is vintage living room. So we've got some coffee tables, some nice like planter thingies and some gorgeous living room chairs. So these can be found in the decorations and living room sections. Let's take a look in the living room section first. That's where most of the items are. So in there you can find the vintage brown and green chairs. I love those. And also the cafe coffee tables. In the decoration section you've got the hanging plants. I really love those. There's loads of really cool items in this live event. Doesn't mean I love live events though. <laughs> Next pack is retro couches. So this is just a selection of couches, chairs, sofas, whatever you want to call them in two different colours. So let's purchase this one. These can all be found in the living room section. So we've got single, double and triple couches, all available in black and white. Continental Breakfast is our next pack. In this one we can find some nice bread displays, lovely hanging lamps and some bookcases. Let's purchase this. These can be found in the decorations, living room and lighting sections. Let's take a look in the living room section first. So we've got the walnut and pine crate bookcases says shelves but they are bookcases. In the decoration section we've got the food displays, they're a really cool addition. And in the lighting section we've got the black and the rose gold cage bulbs which I really love as well. Morning coffee is our next pack. In this one you can find cutlery, chairs and tables. Probably the least interesting pack of them all. Let's purchase this one. These can be found in the decoration and the dining room sections. In the dining room section you can find the black and the yellow cafe chairs and the oak and the pine cafe tables. And in the decoration section you can find the oak and the ash cutlery trays. 
the biggest disappointment with the cutlery tray is if you put it on that small table that you unlock in the same pack, you can't actually do any of the actions on the table, so put it on a separate table. And a tip for you, you may find that you can't actually pick up the cutlery without picking up the table. Just pick up the table and then you can find it in the dining room section of your inventory and then you can place it back down without the cutlery in the way so your sims can use the table. The next pack is daily routine. In this pack you can find some stools, some benches, registers and some really nice chalk art display boards. Really love those. Let's purchase this pack and take a look at those. They can be found in the dining room and decoration sections. Should say living room section as well on there actually. As you can find the registers, the stalls and the benches in the living room section. The benches can also be found in the dining room section. And in the decoration section we can find those chalk art display boards. They're really nice, really big, love those, they're really cool. You can also find the registers in the decoration section too. And the final pack to purchase before we unlock the cafe is coffee and cake. Here we can find some nice wallpaper, some food displays, coffee displays and espresso machines. So let's purchase this one. These can be found in the kitchen, decoration and wall sections. It says there, the two interior walls work best as a multi-storey pairing, which I'll explain in a minute. Let's take a look at the other items first. So in the kitchen section, we can find a red and a black espresso machine. In the countertop section, I'm really happy it said on the first screen that you actually unlock items in the countertop section, but you've got the food displays in there. In the decoration section we've got the coffee displays and then if we go to the, the house section we can find in the walls tab we've got the floral mural top and the floral mural bottom so that means the top half works best on the top of a two-story building so as you can see in this picture here so that's on the top and then the bottom half is on the bottom but you can still put them separately but it would look really weird if you put them the wrong way around. So if you put the bottom on the top and the top on the bottom. Because they wouldn't match. Once you have purchased all your packs using your arts and craft items and constructor coins. You can then claim the Cafe Grand house template for free. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to claim that. You unlock more items as well with this template which is really cool so you unlock windows doors and some items in the living room section so we're going to take a look at those first firstly these items aren't free so you don't get one free one but in the living room section you can find some bookshelves And then in the houses section, we've got four windows, so two single and two doubles, walnut and white windows. And we've got the same version for doors as well, so two singles, two doubles, walnut and white doors. To build this house, you'll find it under the driveway homes tab when you go to build a new house. The first one is free, after this it will cost simoleons based on how many houses you've already built. You'll find it on a standard and a premium residence. If you want to see this house cafe in more detail, check out my Cafe Grand tour video and check out my blog for more information on all of the prizes in my live event post. You can find all my Cafe Culture update videos in my Cafe Culture playlist. I also have a blog for gogames.blog and on there you can find loads of posts about the Sims Freeplay including all the update posts. Thanks for watching. Bye!